What's up everybody and welcome to the AJ Wig channel. So in this video I am going to be doing a review as you guys could see from the title. So let's just get right into it. So I will be reviewing a wig from We Queen Hair. They sent me this wig to review and I'm basically going to be showing you guys how it comes styled and I'll put a picture here. This is how it looks before I style it. So it comes with this really nice sturdy box which I absolutely love and this is the wig. You'll see in the description the name of the wig, the density, the length and everything like that. Um, it comes with a bag as well. A card for more money off and if you guys see in the description you will see a discount code that you guys can use um, when purchasing just enter my code and you can receive a discount and we have a care card as well and care cards you know basically just telling you how to care for your wig wash it and things like that so this unit is the Gloria unit on their website and the knots they come bleached which is absolutely amazing especially when you're buying wigs from online and you're not like a hairstylist or you're really not into styling wigs having something that you could just put on and go is absolutely perfect so you guys don't have to worry about bleaching anything and it is glueless and it comes with an adjustable band and it has the adjustable straps and comb. So it comes parted and it's like a side part. Um, when the wigs are in a box, they kind of unstyle themselves just a little bit, but you just take your comb, your brush and style them if you're looking to wear it straight out of the box. And it is pre-plugged as well. I am going to be doing a round brush method on this wig, but the hair is really nice and it's really full as you guys can see. And the lace color is pretty much perfect here. Now, like I said, you could wear your unit glueless. It is a glueless wig. Um, when you're wearing it glueless, you don't have to put anything on it, and you can just go. You can use guts to be sprayed. Um, you can use a foam. I'll be using my um, everything foam today. Yeah, all the information will be below. You can go to their website. You can email them if you have any questions in regards to the wig itself. If you have personal questions for me, how I feel about the wig, things like that, just let me know, and I will. I will let you guys know. So just keep watching okay so right here I am just basically wetting the hair I am going to plug the hairline a little bit more and I will be round brushing the hair as I mentioned so I'm going to just wet the back of the hair and um, the sides of the hair to prep for that I did not record that but if you guys want to know how to round brush hair just let me know I will make a video for you guys if you want to see how I make straight to the loose wave hair round brushed or whatever and here I'm just combing the hair back as I said and I'm going to show you guys the part through it's a really really nice hairline really nice bleaching job it's a really really nice wig so just keep watching and if I have anything else to say I will be back
so before my curls start the things start coming out I'm going to start taking them out and I did leave this in overnight I didn't plan to leave it in overnight because when you round brush your hair it's already um, it's already like in the loose wave style that you want but I did leave it in overnight and the hair is very soft it comes cut the ends are blunt cut already which is really good because that gives a much better flow to your wigs when you have like a trim and a blunt cut and things like that so I like that I mean my flat iron straightening home. So my face is over. Now I use the big ones rollers because I want the waves to be really flowy and not like tight curls basically I'm gonna show you guys how I did the hairline better now that the curls are out and I'm not gonna be doing like heavy major baby hairs or anything like that so I'm going to take my big comb that I always lose I can find it. It's somewhere. Can't find it. I'm just gonna use my Denman. Any when you're pulling out curls, any wide tooth comb brush is what you want to use. So I'm just gonna show you guys what the rollers and the round brushing did to this hair. As you guys can see it has a lot of body. I didn't layer it because I want to see if it needs to be layered first. So, let's take this back. I don't think I'm going to. It's pretty good. Right here. So I want it long layers. I don't want it like up to here or anything. I'm going to leave it how it comes out of the box, basically. I'm not going to mm -hmm. I didn't want to push that look on this side. areas where I'm gonna have the baby hair. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to do that, but as you guys can see, it's so natural. And this is with my ring light on the highest setting and my window is open.
I don't know what happened to me speaking here. It's muted for whatever reason, but basically I was just explaining how I did the baby hairs and what it looks like before I put the lace band onto my hairline. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take the lace band off and show you guys what it looks like all melted. It looks absolutely amazing and it is 100% glueless. So I will show you guys how to make your units look like a glued install. I'm gonna have a lot of videos coming for you guys in the upcoming weeks and months. I'm gonna get better with YouTube, but this is basically how it looks. I am extremely satisfied. The hair is just so bouncy and nice. I did not layer it. I did not cut it or anything and the hairline everything looks absolutely amazing so to finish off my hair what i do is basically put my silk in my hand and just rub it through and it gives that shine to the hairline in the parting area and makes it makes it look much better so that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this review um 100 satisfied with the hair i will leave all the information in the description box and i will see you guys in the next video bye